Good day and welcome to Spartan Entertainment and Electronics. I'm Ryan, and today I want to share with you my top 10 recommend recommendations for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Games for console. That was a mouthful when we wrote that. I will be doing a separate, a separate list for PC games later. For today, I just want to focus on the games available for console. At the time of recording, there are 259 games, you can see that right there, available for console, and over 400 games for Game Pass Ultimate between console and PC. At current, Game Pass Ultimate is $16.99 a month in Canada, and you can sometimes find retailer cards for three months of Ultimate for $49.99. This video isn't sponsored in any way, uh, it's merely my thoughts on what I've played, what I want to play, and based on what's currently available on Game Pass. So without further my delay, here's my recommendation for what to play, no particular order, even though I've numbered them. First game I'm recommending is going to be Kingdom Hearts 3. Newer addition to Game Pass, and it's also a newer game. I haven't had the chance to play it yet, as of yet, so I can't give you a review on it, but based on my enjoyment of previous entries in the series, and my fandom of the Disney franchises involved in this title, I can confidently recommend it as a game I want to play. Second entry on the list is Ace Combat 7. It's an aerial combat shooter from Bandai Namco that I haven't had the opportunity to play yet. I have been craving to play a new dogfighting style of game for a while now, and I'm very much excited to jump into this one once I have the chance. Slashing its way onto the third spot on my list is Devil May Cry 5. I love the reboot of the series. Now that they've returned to the original look and styling, I'm super excited to jump back into this series. Capcom looks to have put a lot of love and TLC into re-kickstarting this franchise with beautiful graphics and visuals to slash your way through. The fourth spot on the list is claimed by a series of titles from the backwards compatibility, compatibility library from Xbox 360. And that is the Fable series. The series starts with Fable Anniversary, which was remastered and given a facelift later in the Xbox 360's lifespan, followed by Fable 2 and Fable 3. Hundreds of hours of gameplay to be had here with amazing storylines to play through. Breaking its way into the top half of the list is Forza Horizon 4. Racing games are a great way to pass the time and explore pace places you might not otherwise get to explore. Forza Horizon 4 executes that in a very breathtaking manner. The game is graphically amazing and almost full realistic at 4K, with a great selection of cars and DLC like LEGO Champions bringing another level of fun and enjoyment to the game. If you are at all a fan of racing games, this is definitely one to check out. Chainsawing its way into the top of the second half of my list is the Gears of War series. You got the whole series here on Xbox Game Pass for console. I would suggest playing through the Ultimate Collection as the graphics have been redone for Xbox One as opposed to playing the 360 versions. And then shooting your way through Gears 4 and into Gears 5. The stories in these games are fantastic and there's hours of fun to be had, with, had in the multiplayer as well definitely some of the best Xbox exclusive content. Speaking of Xbox exclusive content, da, 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 da. at the number seven spot I'm putting the Halo franchise. The Master Chief Collection covers the first four main games as well as the two amazing spin-off stories Halo ODST and Halo Reach. Halo 5 is available in a stand alone and features some amazing multiplayer experience in Warzone. I personally don't think you can go wrong with any of those games from single player, cooperative, or multiplayer experiences. For something different, try Halo Wars Definitive Edition or Halo Wars 2, both available. My preference on the two is Halo Wars Definitive Edition, it's just a little bit better of a game in my opinion, and I still go back and play it to this day. For something a little lighter and more family friendly, look no further than the Rare Replay Collection. There's a collection of 30 games celebrating 30 years of Rare, and I'm very happy to see it on Game Pass. There's some fantastic content in this collection. There are games I would like to see added to this collection, but due to licensing and whatever else, we can't always get what we want. So, great collection of 30 games celebrating 30 years of Rare. Exploring its way onto the number 9 spot from Obsidian Entertainment is The Outer Worlds. I am currently working my way through this game, on PC. Looking forward to bringing you a review on it soon. In the meantime, I'll be stream streaming it as I play on this channel, and I'm absolutely loving it so far. Smooth gameplay, intriguing story, and beautifully crafted worlds make for an amazing experience from Obsidian. Closing out this list today is a game I'm really excited about, as it looks like absolute mindless fun. 
and I can't wait to jump into it. That would be entitled Goose Game. Everything of this game I've seen looks like it will be just great for passing a couple hours, pissing off the townsfolk, and causing chaos. All things that are right up my alley. Hey, the goose. That wraps up my recommendations for the top 10 console games to play through Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. As you can see, there's a lot more games. There's 200 and almost 300 games on here. Let me know in the comments section what you thought of my list as what games you are playing or interested in. If you like this video, please like and share it, and don't forget to su subscribe as it will really help grow the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.